How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious clips that can't quite be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Back in 2017, some eerie footage captured in an antique store started freaking viewers out. In July of that year, the owner of the Barnsley Antique Centre in South Yorkshire, England was confused when he opened his store in the morning. Daniel Parker discovered an old Bambi rocking horse was out of place, toppled over on the floor. The 45-year-old quickly looked at the CCTV footage from the night before to see what had happened. He was shocked at what he saw. Take a look. As you can see, the rocking horse, which dates back to the 1960s, begins to move. It rocks back and forth, then eventually flies off the shelf. Parker, who's a self-professed skeptic, said it was completely bizarre and that he struggled to explain what had happened. He also admits that in the two years of owning the store, hundreds of unexplained events had happened in the building. After showing the footage to several customers, they suggested that it might be the ghosts of little children playing with the rocking horse. Despite all that's happened, the father of two still remains skeptical and always looks for a logical explanation for the bizarre happenings around his store. In 2017, a young couple caught some eerie footage of a figure walking through a palace that no one seems to be able to explain. Danielle Hind and Savannah Brown were visiting the historical Trion Palace in North Carolina when one of their Snapchats captured something mysterious. Take a look. Watching that again, slowed down, you can see a woman wearing a white dress passing through an adjacent room. Her attire doesn't seem to match the current time period at all and she looks somewhat transparent. The couple believe it could be the spirit of a woman who's said to have died in a fire that ripped through the palace in 1798. Construction for the Grand Georgian Residence began in 1767 and became the official headquarters for the British governors of North Carolina. It was then seized by Patriot troops in 1775 and was used briefly as a seat of government. The palace subsequently became a school, a boarding house and even a Masonic lodge. In February 1798, a fire broke out in the cellar where a stockpile of hay was being kept. The fire quickly engulfed the main building and it's rumoured that several servants lost their lives in the blaze. This tragedy is the impetus for the alleged hauntings that have plagued the property ever since. Groundskeepers and tourists alike have reported all sorts of strange happenings on the estate. Shadowy figures, disembodied whispers and screams and lights flickering are the most common reports. So has this couple captured video proof that this old palace really is haunted? Take another look at the siding and judge for yourself. This next photo was sent to us by Kat McEwen. She submitted the photo to our Slaptown Facebook community page asking viewers what they thought had been captured. The photo was taken over 20 years ago and shows Kat's two daughters when they were younger. The strange thing is, there appears to be another figure in the photo that Kat can't quite explain. On the right hand side, you can make out a figure wearing a white dress or coat. Kat didn't make any assumptions at all, instead she asked the community what they thought it was. A few of you thought the figure was wearing period attire, perhaps Victorian era. However, some thought it was just double exposure or even a reflection, 
It does almost look like the photo was taken through a pane of glass. So I'll throw this one out to you lot for final judgement. What do you think's been captured here? Let us know down below. Back in 2016, a man from India claimed that he had become magnetic and started to film a series of videos to prove his alleged super ability. Take a look. The man places a series of nails on his bare chest. At one point, an accomplice even tries to blow the nails off. Thirty-seven-year-old Arun Raikwa said at the time that he had only just discovered he was magnetic when he was doing some household chores and noticed that metal objects were sticking to his skin. While fixing a table with a hammer and nails, he saw that the nails kept clinging to his body unusually. Later in the clip, you can see Raikwa testing himself with a magnetometer. We then see whether some spoons will stick to his back. A lot of these sorts of claims can often be chalked up as simple parlour tricks. Often the metal objects will be placed at certain angles or the skin is made to be clammy or tacky using special products. Still, Raekwa is firm in his belief that he's recently become magnetic. Just how he thinks that happened remains unclear. Back in 2017, a pub owner in Australia believed she captured the moment the spirit of a young girl called out to her after hours on the property. Take a listen at what she captured. The landlady, Michelle Corrick, believes the voice says, are you waiting for me? and notes that there's footstep sounds just prior to the voice. The Badala Arms Hotel owner believes the voice belongs to a little girl who was hit by a car out the front of the pub. The young girl chased her pet turtle onto the road and was struck by a passing car. Corrick now believes her spirit is tethered to the area in and around her pub. The 49-year-old mum of three who lives above the heritage-listed pub in New South Wales, Australia, said that when the footage was captured it was after hours and only her and a security guard were present at the time. Corrick says that at the time they could feel a presence in the room right before the temperature suddenly dropped. That's when they heard the little girl's voice. The historic Badala Arms pub was first built in 1875 and over the years has garnered quite the reputation as being haunted. Corrick says she's seen orbs and figures and all sorts of unexplained things since taking over the establishment in 2014. She's even enlisted the help of a clairvoyant who's backed up her claims that there are several spirits lingering in the old pub. So what do you make of this story? Are we really hearing the disembodied cries of a little girl who lost her life? Or is there another way to explain this eerie sound? Drop your theories in the comments down below. This is a weird one that was submitted to our subreddit by CheekyDWaffle4948. It's some security footage of their backyard. At first, everything seems perfectly normal. 
But slowly, as the clip progresses, something strange starts to appear. Take a look. It's subtle at first, but a shadow begins to form in the centre of frame. It gets darker and darker, then appears to walk away. Some commenters thought it might be a camera malfunction mixed with the shadow of a passing animal. But others weren't so sure, stating that the government's been working on camouflage suits for military personnel that would look just like this. So how do you explain this bizarre manifesting shadow? Share your hot take in the comments down below. Before we take a look at a freaky little clip that shows some possible poltergeist action, remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. This clip, which was posted to Twitter by Citio Paranormal, throws us right into the action. It's not known where this footage took place, but we see that the camera holder is already clearly alarmed about something. Watch what happens. We can see the kitchen in complete disarray. Cupboard doors open and household items strewn about. That's when suddenly this happens. The doors slam and we hear a scream. The clip then abruptly ends and we're left wondering what exactly went down. Unfortunately, this is one of those classic clips that gets shared around with no accompanying information about where or when this took place or who captured the footage. So for now, all we can do is watch in horror and speculate as to what's really going on here. Now, if you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that creepy video on the top there. Otherwise, we have an enormous paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained well into the evening, we promise. Now, remember to leave us a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. And that's it from me. I'll see you all next time. 